Hi guys, this is Hokkaido. <laughs> and she would like to welcome you to our channel. Hi guys, this is Charlene and welcome back to my channel. Yesterday, a friend called me to ask if I would arrange some flowers for her for Valentine's Day. She was already at the flower market, so she was the one who picked the flowers herself. I didn't really know what to expect until I saw the flowers, and I made three arrangements out of them. One vase arrangement, one box arrangement, and one hand-tied bouquet. In this video, I will show you my step-by-step -step process on how I made them, and I hope you guys like this video. So these are the flowers that my friend bought from the flower market. Some Indian roses and some Ecuadorian roses, some Limonium Misty Yellow as filler, and some peonies. And since it's a flower holiday like Valentine's Day, the flower market didn't have much varieties left. They were all sold out. So my friend got these preserved flowers as well. Aside from the flowers and the fillers, my friend also got two vases to put the arrangement in. I, I'd prefer an opaque one, but this will do. And now I'm showing you how I... the proper way to use a flower foam. So fill in a tub with water or like a pail and just put it on top of the water and wait for it to sink. And it will be fully saturated by then and you don't need to do anything else. Don't try to push it or try to hasten the process. It will just sink and that's how you know that it's done and ready for use. You can use these lines as guide to cut your foam or just cut your foam to size that will fit your vase. Since my friend bought two clear vases, I didn't really want it to like the flower foam to show. So what I did is I used a gold spray paint like this one, KT Gold Effect, and just sprayed it around and at the back. And as you can see, I have it turned over so so that it won't like I don't spray it inside because I don't want the paint mixing with the water. So this is the finished product, and I'll just wait for it to dry. So once it's dry, you can put your flower foam inside, and we can begin arranging our flowers. For this arrangement, we will be using 10 pieces of Indian roses. These are colored red, and they're not as big as Ecuadorian roses, but they're okay. So now we're preparing these roses by removing the lower leaves and some of the thorns. I mean all of the thorns. And because I don't have much variety to work with for this arrangement, I will try to make some of these flowers look like a different flower. As you can see, you can kind of manipulate the flowers and open the petals like one by one until it looks like an open flower, sort of. I think I forgot to mention that if you're bringing in flowers from the flower market or the supermarket, you have to cut one inch of the stem, like 45 degrees, so that the new water will be absorbed by the stem, if that makes sense. And now I'm preparing two more of these flowers to be opened and I think for this arrangement I'm gonna do some grouping so three flowers on top and like the rest of the seven flowers at the bottom so now I continue to prepare these two other flowers for arranging and I'm speeding up the video so that you guys won't be bored so here goes So now it's time to add in the fillers. So as I've said earlier, this is the misty yellow 
and what I do is I cut it to size so usually I just want it a bit above the tallest flower and kind of work my way through so after adding in some of the fillers now I'm ready to add in my other roses so I'm kind of clustering them towards the left and I left most of the upper leaves so it will have like more texture with this arrangement And don't forget to fill in the gaps right there. So now I decided to add in some of these preserved flowers as some type of contrast. And now I'm just kind of fixing the arrangement a little bit adjusting all the flowers to make it kind of look forward and stuff like that. I also decided to remove the leaves from the three upper flowers. Then I kind of decided to just spray paint the pink flowers gold to make it more uniform, like to make it match the vase. So actually you can also do this with like fresh flowers and like fresh fillers. You can absolutely do anything, like just be creative. So I just kind of fixed the clustering of the lower flowers and this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. This is the side view and this is the front view. For the second arrangement, I decided to use a box instead of the glass vase. So yeah, this is the box and it's just any box you have at home. And for this to be waterproof, for you to be able to use this as a vase, you have to put some sort of plastic. So here I'm using some cling wrap. So what I do is kind of just put it across and then over and then put my flower foam inside like so and kind of just tuck away all the excess plastic inside the box. So for this arrangement we will be using pink peonies. One thing I'd like to note in buying peonies is to buy it like closed ones because often oftentimes you think it looks super small but it's not. It's just not blooming yet and it takes so little time to bloom like I'll show you a photo later of how it looks right now so as always remove all the leaves from the flower like so so that it will be easier to to arrange the flowers so these are all the peonies that's already cleaned and for this arrangement we will also be using some of the peony leaves from the bottom of the stem that I collected. So now we will begin arranging it like so. I will be first putting the leaves. Usually I get some silver dollar or eucalyptus but it, it wasn't available yesterday so I've been told. So we're just reusing parts of the flower stem for this purpose and I'll put in all the other fillers like the misty yellow and the bleach and colored misty pink I guess and the pink eucalyptus so yeah I'll speed it up for you.
And now we're adding in the peonies. As always, cut 45 degrees. And we're what we're doing is we're putting taller flowers at the back and shorter flowers towards the front. So it kind of cascades. So I just added in a final ribbon and this is the look. I hope you guys like it. As I've said earlier, the flowers bloom super fast. This is a photo of how it looks like today as opposed to last night. So before we start this third arrangement, I would just like to compare the Ecuadorian rose from the Indian rose. The one I'm holding is an Ecuadorian rose and it's significantly bigger than the Indian rose and it's obviously of superior quality overall. So for this final arrangement, we will be using Ecuadorian roses and some of the misty yellow. So as always, we have to remove all the leaves and the thorns from the roses. Thankfully, the, these ones had little thorns as opposed to the Indian rose earlier. You can also opt to remove some of the first petals if they're damaged or have weird coloring. And now I'm just trying to arrange them in such a way that they look pretty. So what I do is kind of crisscross the flowers so they look fuller. Another thing to note is that you should remove the lower flowers, the lower branches of the fillers so that it wouldn't touch water because that causes rot. And now I'm using a ribbon and I just wrapped it around the middle of the arrangement and secured it with some pins. I kind of try to put it, like insert it at an angle of like 10 to 20 degrees. I'm not really sure. But yeah, you're not supposed to poke yourself. And I'm adding in a ribbon, so it looks pretty. So that's it. This is the final product. And you can put it inside a vase, or you can use it for photo shoots, or as a bridal bouquet, or something like that. That concludes this video. Thank you guys for watching. This is Hokkaido. Anyway, she's asking you to comment down below which of the three arrangements you like best. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!